going on everybody how is everybody doing today welcome here today to another 10 year rebuild but today is going to be an exciting one because today we are dialing it all the way back to the year 2011 and we're going to be doing a 10 year rebuild throughout the 2010s and i was like what team should i use today there's so many fun teams from this decade that we could use but let's use the team that hit rock bottom in 2012 and that is going to be the charlotte bobcats so this bobcats team obviously got kemba walker in the 2011 draft and they really just failed to build around him. I mean, they missed on Michael Kidd Gilchrist second overall in 2012. Cody Zeller in the top five in 2013. Noah Vonley in the lottery in 2014. Frank Kaminsky lottery in 2015. Even though he's a good player today, Malik Monk was a bust for them in the lottery in 2017. They did all right with Miles Bridges in 2018. It's kind of a new era of Bobcats drafting, and it's actually been pretty good as of late. Like I mentioned, Bridges, they've gotten LaMelo Ball. PJ Washington was a good pick. Obviously, recently, Brandon Miller, but it was pretty dark in the early 2010s. So right now, we have Gerald Wallace on a two-year deal our best player not sure if he's gonna be a four spacer i feel like 37 percent from three could be an outlier but we'll see how he looks for us this year and i don't know if i'm ever gonna change the bobcats name i kind of want to keep it we have steven jackson at 32 years old could definitely be a trade candidate this year if we aren't performing well we have a younger dj augustine who they took ninth overall out of texas in 2008 we got boris dio as well you know he's 28 years old he's still fairly young we could have him as a building block as a backup big man that's fine sean livingston just 25 years old love that before injuries kind of direct his career obviously hit an elite mid-range game in the mid-2010s we have Kwame Brown yeah that's sorry man that's Stephen A. got to fight with a younger Gerald Henderson out of UNC Tyrus Thomas Nazar Muhammad Dizana Diop Eduardo Nohara <laughs> Mike Bridges and then yeah some other kind of random guys here but obviously the NBA was in a different time this is the 2011 draft with Kawhi Leonard with Kemba Walker with Jimmy Butler we're gonna be doing a 10-year rebuild so we're gonna go through that 2020 draft and if you guys want to see me do a 20-year rebuild but starting in kind of like the year 2004 2002 going all the way to present day drop a thumbs up on this video if this gets three and a half thousand likes i will do that video for you guys so this is what the lineup is gonna look like um in year number one with steven jackson sean livingston in the backcourt uh sean livingston's gonna get the same amount of minutes as dj augustine we also have jared wallace getting the most amount of minutes tyrus thomas and then Nizana diop and then we have boris dio augustine um K kwame brown nazir muhammad and eduardo nahara off the bench i actually mess that up no i lied i'm not going to do that rotation i think i'm actually going to not even play muhammad nahara because i forgot to give gerald henderson minutes and i want to see him at least get 26 minutes a night and yeah this team went 34 and 48 this year so i don't really expect to be all that good steven jackson was actually the leading scorer of this team followed by gerald wallace then dj augustine and then boris dio like i said they did end up getting kemba walker in the draft so we lost by 57 points to start off this 10-year rebuild dirt drops 38 on our head we have 17 from gerald wallace 16 from sean livingston yeah it may be a long year all right so we're here at the 2011 trade deadline just taking a look around the league that the chicago Bulls are the best team in it which is kind of crazy i mean they do have mvp at this time derrick rose on their team 96 overall absolute stud and hopefully like oh, well injuries aren't on so his career won't be derailed which is pretty sweet i mean that's a fun team with Wall dang joakim noah kirk heimrich taj gibson who's still going today which is kind of crazy the miami heat with lebron d wade and bosh are really good i mean no surprise there boston with rondo allen pierce and garnett and Shaq. Like on their last legs trying to get one more ring atlanta's pretty good as well with teague joe johnson josh smith al horford those were some fun teams as well and over in the west dallas is the best team still with like dirk i mean this team won the championship this year um in 2011 you have denver with chauncey billups share smith Carmelo anthony yep that's really good lakers with kobe um pal gasol andrew bynum run our tests there's the thunder with a young russell westbrook who's 22 a young kevin durant who's 22 a young serge Ibaka who's 21 and a young james harden who's 21 as well i mean if we take a look where we are we are the ninth seed in the eastern conference i'm actually impressed i mean look how bad the Cavs are post lebron the nets the knicks the pistons the raptors and the bucks this is disgusting man the east was a weird place at this time for sure so we are 21 and 31 and i kind of want to just i don't know kind of move our guys i mean i don't mind keeping gerald wallace i would like for that efficiency to be a little bit better but he's still 28 years old i think i would look to move stephen jackson but we could also make a draft night move with him boris dia we could look to move but i kind of like him for some depth like long term i think tyrus thomas but he's 24 years old so i feel like the only guy that would make sense to move would be stephen jackson right now but i could also move him in the offseason so i don't mind just staying put at this deadline i could move kwame brown as well all right and i'm actually going to do this in division trade with the orlando magic we're going to be acquiring 20 or 27 
36-year-old J.J. Redick shooting 41% from three was drafted about five years ago in Orlando, and we're getting a lottery protected first in 2013. That is the Giannis draft for Steven Jackson, so we're going to make this deadline move. I like that because we get a little bit younger, and J.J. Redick could be a very good shooter for us long term. And then I'm going to make this trade with the Detroit Pistons. We're giving them Kwame Brown and Nazar Muhammad, so two expiring deals so they can clear up some free agency money. We're taking on Ben Gordon's three years, $34 million contract. Hopefully, he could turn his career around a little bit here in um, Charlotte uh, because post Chicago days it has not been pretty for him in Detroit we're also getting a 36 year old Ben Wallace who's making next to nothing could just be a good mentor if he doesn't retire at the end of the season so that's another trade right there that we can also move Gordon's contract in the offseason if we wanted to on draft night all right so I think we're going to see what DJ Augustin can do as the full-time point guard going to the end of the year shooting 43 from the field 33 from three 86 from the line that's kind of what it was in 2011 4.8 assists a night we need to know if he's like that long-term point guard or if I'm going to add one in the draft I'm not opposed to getting Kemba Walker and we could actually build a good team in Charlotte with Kemba. Hopefully, Gerald Wallace can turn it around towards the end of the year. He may end up being more of a stretch for. I mean, Tyrus Thomas has been horrible, but he's still very young at 24. Ben Wallace, yeah, is a lot better than Diop, so he's going to be there at the five, shooting 32% from the field. Boris Dio, I'd like to see him turn it around a little bit as well. Gerald Anderson, 37% from three. Love that. I mean, now we kind of have an influx with some of these guys as well, and I noticed that said round three, pick 20, 1978. Love that. Um, Sean Livingston, you know, he's still young. The offense has been hit or miss this year, but you know what? He's been still a good point guard in I'm fine with him as a backup going forward. We'll see if Ben Gordon can turn his career around and then Diop's going to get the last minutes as well. So I like this team a ton um, kind of going forward. We have our first round picks, correct? Don't screw me up with that. All right, we do have our first this year and next year. 2013, we actually don't. Oh, um, okay. I'm not sure why that's a thing. Or it's protected because we do have a protection backup in there. All right, all right. So I guess we will get it. But hopefully we are semi-good by then. And if we just take a look at the league leaders throughout the league, KD is leading the league in points, followed by Rose, LeBron, Mello, and Dirk. As I didn't realize, I was kind of covering that stuff, so I apologize. Rebounds. Oh my God, so many guys getting north of 13 rebounds per game. That is kind of insane. Really good centers at this time. Obviously, it paid dividends to have a really good center. You have Paul and Rondo topping 12 assists tonight, which is kind of insane. So yeah, sorry if I was blocking the picks there. I'll see you guys at the end of the year. I'm cool if we just continue tanking. I want a better pick. Imagine we could add like Kyrie Irving or Kawhi Leonard to this team. All right, so LeBron wins MVP here in 2011. Blake Griffin, rookie of the year in 2011 as well. He was a real rookie in the 2010 season, so I'm sorry, John Wall, you lose it out again. Jordan Farmar, sixth man of the year in New Jersey. The efficiency is disgusting. Dwight Howard, Depoy, Jordan Farmar, most improved, and Rick Carlisle, coach of the year. All NBA first team, we have Chris Paul in New Orleans. Uh, Chicago, Derrick Rose, um, LeBron on the Heat, KD on the Thunder, and then Dwight Howard on the Magic. You have Russ, Wade, Love, Randolph, and Cousins on all NBA second team. Third team, Kobe, Wall, Blake, Tim Duncan, and Joakim Noah. Here's all defensive first team with D. Wade, Chris Paul, LeBron, Josh Smith, and Dwight Howard. Defensive second team with Rondo, Paul George, Tim Duncan, Paul Millsap, and Andrew Bogut, who I kind of want to trade it for at the deadline, but felt bad because, I mean, the, the Bucks aren't good. I doubt they want to move Bogut right now. So we did not make the playoffs, which is good. I will definitely take that. Um, hopefully, we end up doing well in the lottery. So the Bulls ended up winning 67 games. Oh man, we finished with a 36 and 46 record. That's too good. That's too good. So we're going to have probably like the like the 12th pick in the draft. That sucks. Unless we get insanely lucky throughout the lottery. I mean, I guess our team is too good. I mean, I... <laughs> This team, this team should not have been a ninth seed in the Eastern Conference. We are not good. Um, obviously, the following year in 2011 with the lockout, they ended up being, in terms of winning percentage, the worst team of all time. A 10.6 winning percentage. They went 7-59 and in a 66-game season. So let's see who is going to win the 2011 NBA Finals. You have a conference finals matchup between the Lakers and the Thunder, Bulls and the Celtics. That went to 7. And the Thunder win it all. Russ is your finals MVP. They swept the Celtics. Both of these games went to seven. Wow. You had the Thunder beat the Lakers in six or excuse me by six in seven games. And then yeah, Boston ended up beating Chicago in seven. So Miami, what happened to them? Oh my God. They lost to the Pacers in five games. Are you kidding me? I mean, uh, a rookie Paul George got it done. That is embarrassing. Yeah. Boston beat Washington, Orlando with Dwight Howard, swept Atlanta. Uh, Philly ended up losing in five to Chicago. Orlando did push Chicago to seven games. And then yeah, Portland upset at Dallas. That's embarrassing. Yeah. And then Portland ended up 
up getting swept by the Lakers. So here we are, 2011 offseason. Shaq retires. Jawan Howard, Kurt Thomas, Theo Ratliff, Antonio McDyess, Big Z, Earl Boykins. I'm very excited about this rebuild. This is going to be a lot of fun. So obviously Shaq is going to head to the Hall of Fame. He gets his jersey retired by the Lakers. I don't know if I want to rebrand to the Bobcats when that happens. So uh, we're going to allow those to happen. But I kind of want to say the Charlotte Bobcats throughout this whole video. So draft lottery time. I mean, yeah, I need some like insane luck. We are there at 13. I doubt we are going to get crazy lucky. Are right, the Clippers going to stay at 14? Imagine that said the Bobcats. That would be um, insane. Come on, David Stern. Give me give me some luck. Uh, no, nah, we're going to stay at 13, unfortunately. The Raptors end up with the number one overall pick. They ended up with Valanciunas at five originally. Bucks, they get two. I think they ended up with Brandon Knight. And then you have the Cavs at three. They ended up getting one in this draft and four to get Kyrie and Tristan Thompson. Um, or Brandon Knight met and went to Detroit. And then... And I think he maybe was traded. I know that there was like the Jimmer Ferdet trade. I mean, yeah, Bismack Biombo ended up in Charlotte. Jimmer Ferdet ended up in Sacramento. Brandon Knight ended up in Detroit. Ah, this is where the Bucks end up getting Tobias Harris, who went 19th originally to Charlotte. So we're just going to hold on to our pick there. I don't think we have any other picks in this draft. I'm not really going to mess with the, the historic picks too much because I know it's kind of a fine line with protections and what went on then. I'll keep Larry Brown as our head coach. We have Steven Silas for at least one more year. All right, so this could be big for us, the 2011 draft. I mean, if I wanted to move up, it would cost me probably Gerald Wallace. But I'm actually going to see if I can move up from 13 and attach Tyrus Thomas. who's definitely still has potential to him. And my second rounder for pick six from Phoenix. They say yes to that. They were very interested in Tyrus Thomas. He had a pretty good trade market. So I'm just hoping that there's a really good talent available at six. Kawhi Leonard goes number one. I know there's Jimmy Butler in this draft. There's Clay Thompson in this draft. Milwaukee number two. They take Jimmy Butler. Keep him in state in Wisconsin. I mean, that is pretty cool. Three is Clay Thompson. Could I maybe move up with Sacramento? Because Kyrie Irving is still on the board. So I would obviously start with six. I mean, could I move one of my point guards? I don't need Sean Livingston and DJ Augustine. Unfortunately, ah, neither of them are under contract. Okay, so would I be willing to give up Boris Diaw and I would also give up Ben Gordon. That's a lot to move up two spots, two pretty good talents. Uh, Sacramento's gonna move down two spots, but I have a chance to get Kyrie Irving. I think I gotta do that. So with the fourth overall pick, we're not gonna take Kemba Walker. We're not gonna do what they did originally and get him in the top 10. We are gonna go and end up getting Kyrie Irving to be a Charlotte Bobcat. That was a great draft night by us trading up. We traded a lot of our talent. I don't think we're gonna be great next year, but at least we have a franchise building blocking Kyrie from Duke. Absolute huge stuff, man. So Kawhi Leonard ends up in Toronto a team that he won a title with in 2019. Like I said, Jimmy Butler in Milwaukee, Clay Thompson in Cleveland, Kyrie Irving in Charlotte, Marcus Morris went fifth to Detroit, Kemba goes to Sacramento. So that's still a good trade for them. They ended up with Kemba Walker and Ben Gordon and Boris Diaw. You definitely take that. Vucevic is a T-Wolf. Biombo is a warrior. Bojan Bogdanovic is a New Jersey net. Isaiah Thomas is a Phoenix Sun, was drafted 13th overall. Here's kind of the rest of the first round look. Tobias Harris, that's a phenomenal pick at 20 by the Orlando Magic. Good value there. And we are obviously going to sign Kyrie Irving. Team player options. DJ Augustine, welcome back. Gerald Henderson, welcome back. I'm not going to go out probably and spend money. I think we still want to develop somewhat of a young core here as well. But I don't need Livingston and I don't need... Honestly, Augustine, I guess, is a backup at this point. Livingston is a free agent. We need some wing help. We were able to keep Gerald Wallace and all of this. We do have a little bit of cap space. All right, first guy I'm going to try to sign is Landry Fields, a former second round pick out of Stanford. I'm going to give him three years, $12 million total. And we're going to get Sean Livingston back three years, $16 million, But it's going to be a sign-in trade with him because we have Augustine and Kyrie. And I love this trade, man. We're going to send Sean Livingston to the Clippers for a former second round pick who had six and a half rebounds and 9.9 .9 rebounds. He hasn't really broken out yet. So this could make sense. And we're getting a second rounder in this trade. We're moving Sean Livingston for DeAndre Jordan. Boom. There we go. Also at this time, the Clippers were not really a great ran franchise before the Lob City Clips kind of came together. I'm going to give Kalina Azabuki a deal as well. Don't remind me about him. The Knicks made a terrible trade and we didn't get him. He goes to Dallas. Yeah, that was like the whole David Lee thing. It was a mess. So Carmelo goes back to Denver. You have Al Horford going back to Atlanta. Noah back to Chicago. Conley and Gasol back to Memphis. Kirilenko, AK-47 back to Utah. So Gerald Wallace is now like the veteran. He's kind of the leader of this team. Hopefully his defensive mindset could still be bought in here. And he's looking for an extension that I think we'd like to give him as well. Um, I don't believe he's homegrown, right? Yeah, because he was drafted by Sacramento. That's crazy. He was drafted all the way back in 01. DeAndre Jordan and Kyrie Irving together is going to be a lot of fun. We have JJ Redick. I mean, the JJ Redick Kyrie backcourt defensively 
isn't great. I don't think we're going to be good this year, but I like our foundation. I like the nucleus that we have. All right, so let's construct this 2012 rotation. Obviously, we're going to play rookie Kyrie Irving a ton of minutes. He won the rookie of the year in real life. Hopefully, he can get it for us. I think Redick at 28 minutes is fine. 32 to Gerald Wallace. This is this is kind of Kyrie's team. I know Wallace is the veteran, but it's Kyrie's team. I'm going to go, I think, 30 minutes to Thad Young, 33 to Jordan. I love that front court because Thad Young can kind of space the floor a little bit. We have Landry Fields, DJ Augustine, Gerald Henderson, and Ben Wallace off the bench. Hell yeah. I just love that we have a 32 year old Michael Red on this team. Like I loved using this dude in like NBA Live 09. Like funny enough, I was a big NBA Live kid before I was a 2K kid. My first 2K was 2K10 with Kobe on the cover, but I played NBA Live 07 a ton with T-Mac, 08 with Gilbert Arenas, 09 with Tony Parker. I think 2010 was with Dwight Howard. Even like 05 with Mel on it as well. And like when I found out that there was two like NBA video games, I was mind blown when I found out 2K was a thing. We start off the season with a dub. Hell yeah. Gerald Wallace, 22 points and 12 rebounds. That's what I like to see. Kyrie in his debut. 18 points, four assists, three steals. There we go, Landry Fields. I have some high hopes for this team. We could sneak in as an 18, but I also don't mind being bad because this is the Anthony Davis class. Um, it would be sick to have Anthony Davis on this team. We'll see if we're that bad though. All right, so we are here at the trade deadline with a 31 and 21 record. That is the Kyrie effect right away. And honestly, like I said last year, the East kind of wide open after the Chicago and like Heat teams, like Philadelphia is taking a step this year with Drew Holiday, Evan Turner, Andre Iguodala. They also drafted Jonas Valanciunas as well, got Lou Will. The Bulls are 45 and six. It's such a good team. It really is. But they didn't end up getting Jimmy Butler at like pick 30. Obviously in this redraft um, here in 2011, he went much higher. He went to the Milwaukee Bucks, what, second overall. Kyrie Irving, we'll check if he's front runner for rookie of the year, but he should be. He's having a phenomenal year. Thad Young looks like a great pickup. Not really spacing the floor at all, but I'm glad that we went after him in restricted free agency and I think kind of worth my $7 million a year, basically just replacing like Tyrus Thomas and Boris Diaw. Gerald Wallace has been better, and we know he's an elite defender, or at least can be one. DJ Augustine, phenomenal backup point guard. JJ Redick is shooting 45% from three. Hell yeah, Gerald Henderson. Three-point shot is just not there, I guess. Okay, DeAndre Jordan's averaging eight and a half and 12 and a half, 57% from the field. He's still under contract going forward, which is good. If we did take a look at the award races. MVP is led by Derrick Rose, LeBron, Russ, and KD, and then there's Curry, Rookie of the Year. Kyrie's actually third. Shout out to Vucevic, and then Kawhi Leonard's number one. We don't have anybody in Sixth Man of the Year. It's rookie Isaiah Thomas. Depoy, you do have Kawhi Leonard up there, followed by LeBron. Shout out Greg Oden, still in this, man. You'd love to see that. Joel Anthony, most improved. And Kyrie Irving, Clutch Player of the Year. Love that, even though that wasn't really a thing back then. Do we have any contract extensions to deal with? Gerald Wallace, yeah. All right, I like this. We're going to give him a three-year, $97 million extension. We'll add on a player option. Honestly, all right, I can't make it three years. So we're going to add a player option on it, keep him happy, and he can have his options open. But yeah, just I think we're good for the rest of the season. I mean, we're up there in the Eastern Conference. Let's try to get a home playoff series. So Kevin Durant gets his first MVP this year in 2012. Kawhi Leonard is your rookie of the year. Isaiah Thomas, sixth man of the year. Kawhi, defensive player of the year in his rookie season. That is insane. Steph, most improved. Oh my God, the Thunder went 74 and 8. That is absurd. Here's all NBA first team, all NBA second team. Yeah, I don't think anybody's beating the Thunder. And thank God we're in the Eastern Conference, man. That's a fun front court. Kevin Love and Nikola Vucevic there. That could be fun for years to come if they do keep Kevin Love around. Here's all defensive first team, all defensive second team. The only thing we're going to get is Kyrie Irving on all rookie first team. We did fall off a little bit. We ended the year as the 18, which is fine. I mean, we still went above 500, 42 and 40, and we should continue to get better. Kyrie was just a rookie this year and kind of carried this team. So looking at the scoring, uh, Kyrie did lead us. Uh, it was pretty similar to what happened at the deadline. And honestly, I will definitely take this result from year two. Also, just taking a look around the league, we should kind of look at this every year just to see where the league is going. But I mean, KD is 23, Kobe is 33, but Melo 27. D-Rose 23, Curry 24. Like, it's going to be like that for a bunch of years to come. Blake Griffin led the league in rebounds, followed by Love. Shout out Greg Oden, man. You love to see that. Dwight Howard and Paul Millsap. And then there's assists per game with three guys north of 10. And Raymond Felton joins the crew. So we are taking on the Chicago Bulls in round number one. Actually, how many wins did the Bulls get this season? They went 65 and 17. So I don't expect to beat them whatsoever. I would just like to, I don't know. If we won a game, that'd be cool. I fully expect to get uh, swept by them. But if we can get a good Kyrie playoff performance, I would be a fan of that. Kyrie, 21 points in 24 minutes. Nice, he fouled out. Game number three is gonna go to the Chicago Bulls. Damn, we lost this one by two. We almost came back there in the fourth quarter. That would have been sweet. Game number four, we ended up getting swept. We lost by 20 points. I mean, it is what it is. 
I'm just happy to be here. In those four games, uh, Thad Young had 17 points a night. Kyrie, somewhat of an efficient 19 and a half. I mean, the three-point shot was not falling, but 48 from the field, I guess I'll take. Um, DJ Augustine wasn't very efficient at all whatsoever, and neither was Gerald Henderson. You do have Chicago going up against Indiana, who kind of upset it, uh, the... Who did they upset last year? Was it the... It wasn't the Heat. I forget who it was, honestly. You know what? It may have been the Heat, as the Heat lose in seven to the Magic. All right. So, yeah, the, uh, the LeBron and Miami experiment is not going all too well. Shout out to Steven Jackson. That trade is working out for Orlando, it seems like. And then Atlanta beat Philly in seven as well on the backs of Al Horford and Jeff Teague. You did have an upset San Antonio beating the Grid and Grind Grizzlies there in five. And then you have OKC San Antonio, Dallas, LA. Let's see who wins the 2012 finals going into the 2012 offseason. It is the Thunder beating the Bulls, Russell Westbrook finals MVP, back to back for the Thunder. And they beat the Bulls, who lost in seven last year in the conference finals to the Celtics this year. They make it to the finals, losing seven. Shout out to Dwight Howard and the Orlando Magic going on a run like they did in the, I guess it was the late 2000s, not the 2010s. Jason Kidd retires, doesn't get a ring though. Grant Hill retires, Ben Wallace is a Bobcat, Derek Fisher, Marcus Camby. There goes Steve Nash, Pedro Strakovich, Jerry Stackhouse. We will see a couple guys make it to the Hall of Fame. Jerry Stackhouse, an underrated player throughout his career for sure. Jason Kidd and Steve Nash, two of the, like, some of the greatest point guards of all time, end up going to the Hall of Fame. Ben Wallace, jersey retired by the Pistons, Kidd by the Nets, Nash by the Suns, and Grant Hill by the Pistons. We are, I don't think I want to change this. Do I have to? Does it, like, automatically, actually, no, if I hold X to change it, yeah, we're going to veto that. I want to stay the Charlotte Bobcats. I don't want to go to the Hornets, um, and the Nets are going to become the Brooklyn Nets, though. We will keep that. So it's the draft lottery time. Uh, we are going to be picking at 15. Um, I think so, right? Or is it? No, we're actually picking at 17. Two Western Conference teams ahead of us that made the playoffs. The Rockets get the number one overall pick. Raptors at two. And the Rockets via the Knicks at three. Oh my God, New York. Damn. So the Rockets could really add Bradley Beal and Anthony Davis or Anthony Davis and like Draymond Green. That is kind of insane. We do have 17. I could try to trade up. We also may just stay put. Um, Larry Brown, you know what? We did make the playoffs. I'll keep him for one more year. I'm going to hire Jeff Hornacek, who ended up being a Knicks head coach later on um, as our top assistant. So we are going to have to extend DeAndre Jordan and JJ Redick next year as well. But I like the core that we have. I don't really think I want to make it tr any trades. I don't know what our like protected pick next year is going to look like, but we'll see what happens with that. The number one overall pick, the Rockets select Anthony Davis. That is a no-brainer. Doesn't go to the Pelicans. Goes to the Houston Rockets. Damian Lower, duh, they could have drafted him at three, but I kind of assumed he'd go at two. He goes to the Raptors. So they have Dame and Kawhi. Oh my God, that is fun. That really is. Andre Drummond goes three. Drummond and AD front court. They're going to grab all the rebounds. Pick number four, the Detroit Pistons. Who are they going to take? They're going to trade the pick and Alex Watson for Drummond and Yao Ming. Oh my God. Okay. Um, don't know why Houston would do that, but maybe they regret taking Drummond. So this time they're going to get Festus as Oh my God. Why? That was the dumbest thing I ever witnessed. Why would you do that? And you lost Yao Ming in that. I mean, maybe it was to get off the Yao Ming contract. Bradley Beal was on the board. He goes to the Clippers. So it works out for them. And then the Minnesota Timberwolves. Are they trading the pick? Nope. They select Harrison Barnes out of UNC. So we are on the clock. We've seen good talent go. Draymond Green. There's Deion Waiters. Chris Middleton would have been fun. Evan Fournier. Terrence Ross. Uh, Jermichael Green. Jared Sollinger. Will Barden off the board. So we could draft Austin Rivers. Tyler Zeller, maybe not the greatest draft class, like the download ever, honestly. Tyler Zeller from UNC, but he's 22 years old, 69 overall. I think I'm going to go with Austin Rivers here. We have an influx of guards, another Duke guard, right? Because we got JJ Redick and we also have uh, Gerald Henderson on this team and DJ Augustine on the bench. So maybe I'm going to move a guard. Maybe I move Gerald Henderson for a forward or big. So we're not going to sign my second round pick. He was auto-generated. I'm going to pick up the team option on Gerald Henderson, unfortunately, like Daryl Reed and Diop. I got to pay $10 million to next year. Chris Paul and Dwight Howard are free agents. I mean... It would be sick to get Dwight Howard on this team. But I don't, like, we have DeAndre Jordan and Kyrie Irving. Um, Derek Rose is restricted. Russ is restricted. Darren Williams is a free agent. That'd be pretty sick. Ray Allen is 36 years old. Eric Gordon would be a good free agent as well at 23. A lot of point guards and centers. So DJ Augustine is restricted. I'll probably just match whatever he gets. Tower Hansbo, crazy team, man. I actually don't hate that idea. Could he be a good backup to Thad Young? kind of like that idea all right let's give him a two-year deal um team option on the second year with around five million dollars a year boom there we go and whatever deal dj augustine gets i'm gonna match i don't even know if he's gonna get a deal he does not so um augustine i'm just gonna offer him a deal right now can i offer him three years around 10 million in total boom derrick rose goes back to chicago chris paul leaves the hornets and he goes to the utah jazz okay dwight howard Back to the Magic. Ross back to the Thunder. Caleb back to the Wolves. Anybody switch up? Nick Batum. He goes back to Portland. Jameson back to the Cavs. Yeah, most of these guys kind of stayed. Darren Williams, though, replaces Chris Paul. Oh, my God. They basically traded. 
Chris Paul and Darren Williams are basically traded for each other. And we're going to send Gerald Henderson to Sacramento for a lottery protected pick in 2014 that becomes unprotected in 2015. All right, so we do see Gerald Wallace progress up to an 85, Kyrie Irving already an 85, DeAndre Jordan 86, that Young, Fields, Crazy T, JJ Redick, Augustine all going up. So we did trade Gerald Henderson, but we have some like UNC guys like Hansbro on the team, former Duke guys like JJ Redick and Austin Rivers. We could have drafted Tower Zeller as well. All right, so this is what the team is going to look like in 2013. Kyrie Irving, JJ Redick. I, I forgot Kyrie Irving also went to Duke. Gerald Wallace, where did he go? Alabama, okay. Thad Young, DeAndre Jordan is the starting five. And then we have Landry Fields, Tower Hansbro, DJ Augustine, and Austin Rivers off the bench. I would like to maybe get some more depth on this team going forward. This could be the last year of Larry Brown. We'll see. We do have that Kings pick in the future, and we have that Magic pick this year. I just actually want to find out. Oh, there it is. Our pick is top 10 protected this year. I doubt we're going to get that. I feel like we're going to be a playoff team again. So we are going to give that to Chicago. We start off the season with a win against San Antonio. Hell yeah. Give me like a two and one start to the season. All right, there we go. That's what I'm talking about. We did lose to Chicago by three, but I feel like we're continuing to get better, which is great. Hopefully this could be an all-star season from Kyrie in year two. All right, so here we are at the trade deadline, 38 and 14, a phenomenal turnaround for this team. We are the one seed in the Eastern Conference. We are trending in the right direction. And this is at the time where if you were a division leader, I think you would get like an automatic playoff spot. That's why this looks a little weird. But why are the Bobcats in the heat? Unless it just mattered about the top four seeding, but the Magic are also in the Southeast division, right? Like if we look at the divisions here, why, why are there only four teams in this division? Were the Orlando Magic always in the Atlantic division? I feel like I never knew that. I, is that true? Yeah, the Heat and the Magic and the Wizards left the Atlantic Division in 2004, what I'm reading, so I may just realign this in the offseason. Contract extension deadlines right now. JJ Redick is a free agent at the end of the year. I mean, he's a sharpshooter, man. I gotta bring him back. So I'm gonna give him 15 mil over three years, kind of overpay for him. Uh, Diop is definitely gonna walk. DeAndre Jordan does not want to re-sign for us. Okay, that could be an issue. I don't know why, though. He's averaging great numbers, and we are the best team in the Eastern Conference right now. Kyrie Irving may finish top five in MVP voting. We're getting really good defensive players out of Gerald Wallace. I'll take those shooting splits any day of the week. Tower Hansbro has been pretty good off the bench. Thad Young has been a great free agency signing too. I mean, if we take a look at the award races, Kyrie is not top five in MVP. John Wall is number one, which is pretty sick. AD having a really good rookie year. Shout out to Draymond in Brooklyn. First year for the Brooklyn Nets. Uh, that didn't, like they were able to get that pick. Originally, actually, the Nets should have gotten Damian Willard, but the Nets kind of traded that pick for Gerald Wallace and that's how the Portland got it. it the, I mean, the Nets also were not a good team functionally or like, organizationally with Billy King in those 2010s with that Russian owner that they had. So yeah, I don't think I'm going to make any trades. Could the Bobcats win the championship in 2013? I mean, this is a draft where I'm okay not getting a top 10 pick because obviously it falls off. Basically, like Giannis should go one though. All right, so Russell Westbrook ends up winning MVP. Anthony Davis is your rookie of the year. Isaiah Thomas, sixth man of the year in Phoenix. You have Roy Hibbert, Depoy in New Orleans with Darren Williams as that point guard now. How does Jeremy win? Most improved in Indiana. Um, I guess he did improve technically in Scott Brooks. Oh my God, they went 71 and 11. So Russell Westbrook, All-NBA first team with Steph, Kevin Love, LeBron James, and Roy Hibbert. Second team, John Wall, Derek Rose, AD, Blake Griffin, and DeMarcus Cousins. Third team, Chris Paul, Mike Conley. Shout out to Mike Conley getting on that team. Pau Gasol on the Lakers at 32 years old. Still a really good player. KD and Nikola Vucevic. There's all defensive first team. Second team, all rookie first team, and all rookie second team with Austin Rivers. We didn't really get anybody on any awards. Wait, did I not say Kyrie on an All-NBA team? Damn. So we ended the season as the one seed, though. Thank God I ended up trading up for Kyrie Irving, man. That was such a great move by us. He ended the season with 24.5 points, 6.7 assists. Thad Young and DeAndre Jordan, a really good offensive and defensive front court. 2.7 blocks for Jordan. I'd like to re-sign him for sure. There's Gerald Wallace, 12.7 rebounds. Only an assist tonight. I was hoping he could be a little bit more of a playmaker. There's JJ Redick, Landry Fields, Hansbro, DJ Augustine, and Austin Rivers. You have Orlando and Milwaukee and Indiana and Washington on the bottom of the Eastern Conference as well. So who was really bad in 2013? The Nets, damn, the Knicks. Like, who's going to be back to relevancy first? I mean, the Celtics, the Raptors, the whole Atlantic division wasn't very good. Damn, the Lakers with Kobe and Pau Gasol, also not very good. The Utah Jazz weren't good either. If we take a look at the league leaders at the end of the 2013 season, Mike Conley played 43 and a half minutes a night. Oh my God. There's KD, Derrick Rose, Steph Curry, John Wall, Kobe in the top five of scoring. Here's rebounds per game. I wonder like how soon AD will be there in the top five. Hey, another guy joined the 10 assist club with Wall getting on it. Um, It looks like Chris Paul fell off it and Curry joined it as well. 
And here we go. We're taking on the Philadelphia 76ers with Drew, Lou Will, Igudala. This team did upset the Bulls as when the Bulls were the one seed, Sixers were the eight seed, but that's when Derrick Rose got hurt in that series. We do win game one by eight points. Kyrie had 33 points and seven assists. Game number two is going to go to the Philadelphia 76ers by 19. Don't, don't love that at all. Drew Holiday played 38 minutes. Game number three, can we win this rubber match? Yes, we do. We end up blowing them out by 24 points. Kyrie had 25 and 7 in 37 minutes. Game number four is going to go to the Charlotte Bobcats. We ended up winning by one on the road. That is what I'm talking about. Can we win in five? Yes, we do. We end up winning in five. We beat them. Oh my God. Kyrie had 51 points as a sophomore, as a one seed. So we're going to be taking on the Miami Heat. The Magic are going to be taking on the Pacers. Wow. Two upsets here. Six seeded Suns over the three seeded Mavericks. Damn, Dirk. Come on, man. What are we doing? Shout out to Isaiah Thomas on that Suns team. And the Grizzlies. Good to grind Grizzlies. Beat the two seeded Kings. What? I mean, Kemba Walker, DeMarcus Cousins is very fun. OJ Mayo, yeah, that's still a really good team. They got Boris Diaw, one and four over there as well. And like the Pacers ended up beating the Wizards. Damn, like close to MVP, John Wall ended up losing this series. And then you had the Magic beating the Bucks in five. So here we are, taking on the Miami Heat. Kyrie versus LeBron in the 2013 playoffs. JJ Barea, Ryan Hollins. I mean, the bench is horrible, but they do have LeBron, Bosch, and Dwayne Wade. They beat us by five in game one. There's only so much Kyrie and DeAndre Jordan can do. Bosch had 33. Game two goes to the Bobcats. Oh my God, by 46 points. That is insane. Insane. Game number three goes to the Bobcats by 16. Kyrie with 35 and 15. What a pickup he was for us. Man, this is so nice. 31 and 14 for Kyrie. He's so freaking good. I can't believe he fell to pick four. And we ended up winning at five. We won by one point in overtime. And we are in the conference finals to take on the Orlando Magic, who beat the Pacers in seven. Vince Carter at 36 years old. You have the seven-seeded Grizzlies in the conference finals as well. And then here we are taking on the Orlando Magic, J.J. Reddick's old team. So they have Jameer Nelson, Vince Carter, Stephen Jackson, former Bobcat. They have Channing Fry, and obviously one of the best players in the league, one of the best defenders in the league, Dwight Howard. Game one goes to the Bobcats. Kyrie drops 43. He is playing like a man possessed right now. 2-0 lead. Are we going to get a ring in year three? I don't know. I'm getting excited, but we do drop game three. Hell, we or we can lose four games in a row. That is possible, but we take a three to one lead. We win 119-116. Gerald Wallace with 26 points. And game five goes to the Bobcats. We won by one. Another one point win. We're winning the close ones. This is why Kyrie in the clutch player of the year conversations. We are in the NBA finals. We're probably going to get swept out. That is a team that's won each year in this video so far. So they're probably going to beat us this year. We do win game one, though. In overtime, we are winning these close ones. Game number two goes to the Thunder by 16. <laughs> KD at 38. I mean, we have Landry Fields as our second leading scorer. Uh, they blow us out by 24 points here in game three. Not looking too hot. Game number four goes to the Thunder. They end up winning by 28 points. Four guys scored north of 20. And game number five. Hey, we stay alive. All right, all right. Kyrie with 29, 17 and 11 for hands, bro. Can we make this a game? Can we force a game seven? Nope, we ended up losing at six. And the Thunder, three P to start off this video. Damn, an absolute elite playoff run from Kyrie. Ah, oh, it's a shame it didn't end in a ring. He did shoot 37% from the field in the finals, though. I don't know if we're going to see anybody head to the Hall of Fame this year. I don't think so. Larry Brown does retire. All right, losing in the final, so we got to get a new head coach of this team. I don't want to mess that up. They won't let me do any league realignment right now, so I guess we're going to have these weird Atlantic divisions, which is fine. Jeff Lottery, we're not going to get our first round pick. That is going to go to the Chicago Bulls. The Nuggets win the Giannis onto the Koopa sweepstakes, but if they pass on him, the Rockets have a chance to pair up Giannis with Anthony Davis. We do own Orlando's pick at 28 from the Steven Jackson, JJ Reddick trade, so it didn't really end up being a great pick. We are going to be giving Chicago our pick at 29. And this is a pretty, like, desirable situation. I don't think I'm going to promote Jeff Hornacek. I mean, it would be cool to get Mike D'Antoni, seven seconds or less with Kyrie here. Brian Shaw, I mean, he was the Stanford guy. Mike Boonholzer, a top assistant under the Popovich tree in San Antonio. Rick Adelman, mm, I think I'll pass on him. Byron Scott, J.B. Bickerstaff, Mike Malone, one of these top assistants that ended up being great head coaches. Scott Brooks is here. We could go after Tibbs as well. That's a potential um, Steve Clifford. All right, let's see. Uh, I would really like Mike Boonholz, or excuse me, Mike D'Antoni, who I think I would get. Mike Boonholz would be sweet if they don't block it. Damn it, they blocked it. 
all right, let's bring in Dan Tony as the next Bobcats head coach. Hopefully his heliocentric like seven seconds or less play what he did in Houston and Phoenix, Phoenix with the seven seconds or less teams, Houston with James Harden. We can maybe do something here, even though he never won a ring. All right, so we are here during the 2013 draft. Oh, man, if you take a little deep above Giannis, I wouldn't do that. All right, so I just moved 28 and both my seconds in this draft and a future second to move up six spots to pick 22. I had a trade in mind. I don't know if I'm going to go through with it. I wanted to see how much cap space we had and what free agency is looking like. Um, I'll go back to it or at least tell you guys what it is. The Nuggets with the number one pick, they select Giannis. Okay, they make the right decision. They pair up Giannis with Carmelo Anthony. The Rockets at number two, are they trading the pick? Nope, they select Rudy Gobert. So they don't get Audrey Drummond last year, but now they have Rudy and AD there, which is pretty sweet. The Jazz at number three, they select CJ McCollum. So they have CP3 and McCollum, a small backcourt there in Utah. Lakers at four. Oh my God, that bad of a season for Mason Plumley. And at five, the Nets are they yep they select Old Depot you take that Knicks at six selected KCP so I had a trade in mind to get Luol Dang an expiring contract from the Bulls he's coming off a 21 point per game season I think we do need a better number two offensively to help Kyrie because I don't know if Gerald Wallace was that guy we could do this trade involving Gerald Wallace but I thought maybe we could do this with like Augustine we could do this with um Austin Rivers and draft picks it's gonna kill our depth but I want to see what free agency is looking like and I love who we're about to get here at 22 and that's gonna be Steven Adams who fell to me hell yeah a good backup center behind hopefully DeAndre Jordan coming back but I really like that pickup of getting Steven Adams here in the 2013 draft yeah you had like your Tim Hardaway Juniors go your Otto Porters your Seth Curry another Duke guy MCW the rookie of the year from this class there's Dennis Schroeder as well Cody Zeller all those guys so let's sign Steven Adams I like that pickup for us Kyrie Irving obviously we're picking up that team option uh, hands row, yes. I don't know if we're going to have tap space, honestly. Let's just see kind of what free agency is looking like. Oh, a lot of good restricted free agents. Monta Ellis, top unrestricted free agent. Yeah, like all those 2009 guys are restricted or, yeah, restricted. So, like, we have $15 million to spend. Obviously, I'd like to bring back DeAndre Jordan, but is not interested. So I guess we're going to lose him. Uh, I'll, I'll, I'll allow that. All right, we're going to look to get some offense this offseason. I'm going to try to add Daniil Gallinari on a three-year deal who could be leaving the Knicks. Boom, there it is. Three years, $25 million. I guess DeAndre, I don't know why he didn't want to come back, but he's going to get four years, $57 million from Utah. I'm not going to scheme the system. I'll allow it, and he's going to move on. It's going to provide a challenge for us. Um, And he, yeah, did he end up signing? Did he sign anywhere yet? Yep, he ended up signing a deal with the Jazz. I don't know why he was angry here, man. He got his shots. We made it to the NBA Finals. That's a bummer. So yeah, like obviously here it is. And like Steven Adams, like you're kind of our center right now. But since we got Gallinari, we could still enter the trade market. We'll see how much Kyrie can carry this team. I wanted cap space next off season. So I think I'm not, I don't know if I'm going to do like any re-signings throughout the year. So I think I'm going to either get Tiago Splitter or I'm going to get Kendrick Perkins. I don't really love either of those options. Larry Sanders is here as well. There's not really a power forward I could throw at the five. Like Darrell Red's kind of undersized. Big Baby Davis, yeah. I think I'm going to go after Tiago Splitter on a two-year deal. Team option. I think I'm going to start Steven Adams at the five and Splitter is going to be the backup. I don't think really anybody switched up here at the top. Mana Ellis, the top unrestricted free agent. Leaves Golden State no longer with Steph Curry. Obviously, they made the right decision to and Curry. He goes to Houston. So they have Monta Ellis. They have AD. Oh, man. And they have um, Rudy Gobert now. So taking a look at player progression, Gerald Wallace starting to regress. We'll keep an eye on that. But I think Gallo could maybe take a step this year. Hopefully we bought low on him in free agency. We'll see. But Kyrie Irving, still the face of this franchise. All right. So year number four in the 2014 season. Let's figure out what the starting five is going to look like. Is it kind of like, I don't know. I kind of want to see what Steven Adams can do as the starter. And I really don't know how to even construct this rotation because I feel like we're 11 deep right now. So I don't even think I'm going to play Tiago Splitter, honestly. Like Tyler Hansbro is just going to be the backup five. Rivers minutes are going to get depleted this year, which is kind of annoying, but it's what we got to do because I want to see what Gallo can do. I didn't really want to start him like right away over Wallace or Thad Young because I like these guys starting, but he's going to be the sixth man. Hopefully win sixth man of the year. First game on the season, a back-to-back -to, -back to start off the year. That is brutal, 2K. We blow out. Well, I don't win by 16. I wouldn't say that's a blowout, but it's decent maybe it is a blowout um and then we beat the Celtics by 15 that's by 16 let's go Kyrie with 37 Gallo with 22 and then we beat the Celtics Gallo with 24 Kyrie 23 great start also system proficiency under D'Antoni we're gonna go to seven seconds which is a full three stars Steven Adams not a great fit I also don't think I'm gonna touch the contract extensions I want to have like optimal cap space at the end of the year unless like Thad Young is balling out but we could also make some trades at the deadline for any of these expirings as well all right so we are 18 games above 500 right now 35 and 17 we are the two seed in the Eastern Conference. The Pacers with Jeremy Lin, Paul George, Danny Granger, Zebo, and Kendrick Perkins, who we could have signed, are the best team in the East. The Orlando Magic, about three and a half games behind us right now.
now, taking a look at the player stats, Kyrie Irving still maybe becoming one of the best point guards in the league, 8.3 assists, um, and I should say best players in the league, Gallo being very efficient. Thad Young's pretty good. JJ Redick. I mean, I'll take this. I like this. I like our offense. I, I like our defense. Actually, let me just see where we are stats-wise in the Eastern Conference. Offense, we're second in the East. Defense, I mean, yeah, uh, we're not great defensively. All right. I mean, Thad Young, he only wants like five and a half million dollars. Honestly, I'm going to bring him back. Six million dollars, um, three years. I don't know if like the inflation's keeping up with like this historic save. Landry Fields, though, I'm not going to re-sign. I don't know if I want to trade him. Okay, and I did find a trade that I like. I'm going to get Utah's unprotected pick, not this year in the 2014 draft, but in the 2015 draft, I'm getting this random player that is not going to play for me, but he's making $3.5 million, which I guess they're getting off of that contract. They're really adding. Like, they saw, or they have Gordon Hayward, who's young, like Chris Paul, DeAndre Jordan, who they signed from us as well, like Kira Lank, Gil McCollum. Like, that team is getting good, and they're going to add Landry Fields to the mix. I mean, yeah, they're 24 and 29, but they were one of the worst teams in the league last year. So they are continuing to get better. And basically with like the 20 minutes freed up, we're just going to get more to Hansbro, Augustine. Um, I think Rivers can get like 10 minutes a night. And then I'm going to rock like Tiago Splitter eight minutes a night. Is Kawhi, or excuse me, is Ky Kyrie Irving in top five in MVP? He is not, unfortunately. Damn, Steph is averaging, come again, 40 points per game with no Monta Ellis there. <laughs> That is insane. There's Giannis top of rookie of the year. Michael Carter Williams, sixth man of the year. We do have Gallo number four. Um, and then Reggie Jackson. I thought that said Steven Jackson for a second. Depoy, uh, DeAndre Jordan number three. Great. No longer in um charlotte Kyrie irving third and most improved i don't really see that so russell westbrook wins mvp this year Giannis antetokounmpo is your rookie of the year isaiah thomas six man of the year lebron depoy jeff teague most improved and larry drew the new coach of the thunder is your coach of the year here's all nba first team with ad in year number two i'm hoping that Kyrie irving makes an all nba team but Kawhi leonard did he's a 93 overall yeah he's pulling out he is taking a different career path or progression than he did in real life no Kyrie irving but an inefficient rodney stuckey come on Come on, all NBA third team, that is unfortunate. We don't get any Bobcats on the defensive teams or the rookie teams. I lied, we do get Steven Adams on all rookie second team. He was a fine big. So we did end the year as the fifth seed in the Eastern Conference. We're going to be going up against Derrick Rose. Well, dang, who I almost traded for. I think I like Dallow maybe more than him in round number one. Indiana got that one seed. I'm um, just taking a look here at the player stats from this season. Kyrie Irving, 26 points, 8 assists. Gallo, kind of a beast, I think. We struck gold with that signing. Um, Thad Young, I like that extension, but he honestly could trend. To, like, I don't know. He may come off the bench for the playoffs, honestly. We will see. And then just looking at the league leaders from this year... I how did Curry not win MVP? He averaged 38 points. That is absurd. There's Kevin Love, 16 and a half rebounds. Greg Oden, 15.2. Four guys with 10 plus assists, including Roddy Stuckey. And down low, you do have the Magic and the Bucks and the Wizards and the Hawks. All right, so round number one, can we win this? We do lose. I mean, this was going to be maybe uh, like an evaluation year. I'm hoping free agency is good. I'm really going to check. I like don't know why I'm checking this in the middle of the playoffs, but I'm hoping I can get a good free agent. I mean, these 2010 guys are going to be all restricted. So, yeah, I don't even know who's going to be good in free agent. Mike Bridges. I don't even know who this guy was, but he's a former... I don't know. Well, okay. We'll, we'll get there when we get there. We lost game one. We lost game two. All right. Maybe I got ahead of myself. Um, yeah, losing DeAndre Jordan did suck. Maybe I should have pulled off a sign and trade. As it looks like we are going to go from making it to the finals to getting swept in round number one with no DeAndre Jordan. And that is the case. That is embarrassing. Gallo shot 27% from the field. I was just gassing up that signing. Oh, Augustine was bad. I don't, all right, um, yeah, uh, we're gonna have some questions in the offseason. Let's see who wins the 2014 NBA Finals. It's gonna be between the Bulls and the Grizzlies, and the Bulls who beat us win it all. They lost it all two years ago. The Thunder, like, their three-peat ends, they lost in Game 7 to the Grid and Grind Grizzlies, man. I wish they won it all. Like, you finally dethroned the Thunder, but then you lost in five to the Bulls. John Wall carried that Wizards team to the Conference Finals, and that Bulls team swept the one-seeded Pacers. So you have Jermaine O'Neal, Ray Allen, T-Mac, yeah, Antoine Jameson, Rashad Lewis. We're gonna have a couple Hall of Famers from that class. Michael Red, I saw retire as well. Their coach, Steve Clifford, Ray Allen, and T-Mac heading into the Hall of Fame. Um, yeah, I don't want to change the Bobcats. I don't. I want to keep them the Bobcats. Um, yeah, we're going to do Rising Stars to USA vs. World, and we're going to do some branding changes for the Kings and the Warriors. So, draft lottery time. I don't think we have a random lottery pick here, which would be cool. The Sixers could have two lottery picks. I see the Warriors there with two and uh, nine, potentially, but that pick was protected. Pelicans, one. They could draft Embiid. They could draft Jokic. We'll see. Wiggins as well. Spurs at two. Lakers at three. We have the Kings pick at 26, and then we also have our pick at 25. Not great. I feel like we're kind of in like upper purgatory right now, but I don't know. We were in the finals last year. I'm not going to blame Mike D'Antoni yet, but if we do have maybe a disappointing ending this year, he could get fired two years into that contract for sure. 
All right, I'm making this blockbuster trade with the Blazers. I'm getting pick eight and Greg Oden, an expiring contract. I'm giving them DJ Augustine, who could win most improved there next year. Earl Hanson, who we got from the Jazz. 25, 26. All right, you want to give me an additional first? Sure, we're going to do that. I got screwed out with DeAndre Jordan. I may screw over the Blazers a little bit here. So we just make a trade. We get in the top 10. I think Augustine has a ton of potential throughout the league. Um, if he's going to be a lead point guard, he could be like an 18 and 8 efficient guy. Um, so we're going to have to improve the bench a little bit, but we cleared up. Eh, and we're basically the same cap wise. We lost uh, additional first rounder, but we got an additional first rounder. And I trust like our record over the Blazers record. And I got the eighth overall pick here in the 2014 draft, which is a good class. So like I could end up with a Joyce Randall, a Jeremy Grant, a Marcus Smart, a Clint Capella. I'll take it. So with the number one pick, the New Orleans Pelicans are going to select Joel Embiid out of Kansas. So they don't get AD in this video, but they do get Joel Embiid. Jokic is a spur. They still have Duncan and Manu Ginobili. That's pretty sick. The Lakers at number three. Are they trading the pick? They are. It is going to be for Tim. Oh my God. They drafted Jokic and they sent Tim Duncan to LA to play with Kobe. That is crazy. And they take Julius Randle. All right. A new era in San Antonio. Boston at number four. They are also trading the pick in Glenn Davis for Tony. Oh my God. The Spurs are trading everybody. I kind of like it. So Manu and Tony Parker go to the Celtics. They're pulling like a Boston Celtics when they move KG. They move Paul Pierce and all those guys. Wow. The Spurs really blew it up and they landed Andrew Wiggins. Andrew Wiggins and Julius Randle are the new faces of the San Antonio Spurs team. I love that. Zach Levine goes to the Knicks. Clint Capella to the Nuggets. And the Nets are going to get TJ Warren. So with our pick at number eight, I'm going to go Aaron Gordon, the power forward out of Arizona. And Aaron Gordon's going to be a 77 overall. We love to see that. And that looked like probably the best player on the board. So boom, there we go. I'd like to keep him. I don't want to trade him. I'm going to pick up the team option on Tiago Splitter. Depending on how free agency looks in a five cap, I think I'm going to look into the trade market. I mean, I would love one of these guys. I don't really want Mike Bridges. Ugh, I'm not going for At least I did get Greg Oden, who's been a good rebounding center. All right, I'm going to offer J.R. Smith three years, $27 million. We are going to sign him. Actually, before I do that, I would like to maybe bring back Tower Hands, bro. I don't know if I'm going to be able to afford him and J.R. Smith. I think I should be able to. And yeah, we should be able to sign J.R. Smith and Tower Hands, bro. But I'm not done. We're going to do this blockbuster trade. I think I'm going to move my first rounder this year. Honestly, I don't even know for Amari if I have to do that, but we'll wait. it. Well, maybe yeah, I don't even know if they're going to accept this. Amari's an expiring deal. The Knicks have been horrible. Gerald Wallace, Tiago Splitter, JJ Redick for Amari Stoudemire. They say no. So maybe they're not even going to do my first round pick this year. Never mind. I got excited. So I'm going to try Tiago Splitter. I'm going to try Gerald Wallace, and I'm going to try a first round pick for Al Horford. They say no to that. <sighs> Who else? I would throw Austin Rivers in this trade. Would that get this done? No, it does not. Oh, I want to make it. I think I want to trade Gerald Wallace. And I'm going to make this blockbuster trade with the Chicago Bulls. Luol Deng's been wanting out. Even though he signed an extension, we're going to get him. We're going to get also JJ Barea in this deal, who is 30 years old. I'm sending them Gerald Wallace, Tiago Splitter, and a young Austin Rivers. So we're going to get a little bit more offense with this trade. Pretty much all the restricted guys went back to their original teams. Kyrie Irving's at 92 overall. Let's see how good this team can do next year. I think it's a good enough core around Kyrie to get a ring. And I know young guards have never really won a ring before as the top guy. If you're not named Isaiah Thomas or Kyrie, or excuse me, Steph Curry. Doesn't happen with Steph so far. Maybe we can get it with Kyrie. All right, so we're going to have a 10-man rotation out there. I don't think that J.J. Barea is going to crack it. It's going to be Kyrie, J.R. Smith. I know the defense, right? Well, dang, Gallo, Odin. I mean, our defense may suck this year. It may suck. We'll see, though. We are going to be seven seconds or less, which is up to four stars. Odin, a much better fit than Steven Adams was. We start off with a road game against the Celtics. We start off with a seven-point win. Let's go. Kyrie at 34. We're here at the trade deadline. I'm not going to make any moves. This is Kyrie's team. It, I mean, it, obviously it has been. He is so freaking good. Damn, we currently have 56 wins and we are the 14. I guess that's probably the weird divisional conference thing because I guess there's just another team. Maybe it's the Wizards in our division that is just that much better than us. Damn, 61 wins and you're going to tell me we're the 4th seed? Curry just averaged 42 points. He did get his MVP here in 2015 like he did in real life. Jokic, rookie of the year on San Antonio. So they don't get the generational... I mean... They could get Wemby still, but we uh, they end up getting Jokic passing the torch from Tim Duncan. Reggie Jackson, six man of the year. Kawhi Depoy, Austin Rivers, most improved in Chicago. I obviously believe it. Rick Carlisle, coach of the year. Yeah, the Wizards were just like, what, two more games better than us? Ky what does Kyrie Irving need to do to be on an All-NBA team, man? I know there's some elite guards here, but come on. He makes All-NBA third team for the first time in his career. Who the hell is Dante Green? 
What? We did get Aaron Gordon on all rookie second team. Hopefully he can keep progressing for us. So we ended the season as the 14. 61 wins gives me the 14. Come on, man. Kyrie Irving ended up finishing with 29 points and nine assists a night. I'm hoping the offense is just good enough to like help Kyrie out a little bit in the playoffs. League leaders, you have Curry in scoring followed by D-Rose, Kobe. Shout out to Kobe, man. 36 years old, still doing it. Clay and Kyrie. Rebounds, Love, Cousins, AD, Howard and Griffin. Assist four guys in double digits you got philly milwaukee chicago and atlanta on the bottom there so let's see can we beat indiana they have been relevant in this video are we able to beat them i mean we won 61 games let's gentlemen sweep them there we go so let's go up against a division matchup here against the washington wizards or would they be the team that technically finished with more wins than us now it might have yeah it has to be the the wizards okay I, yeah that is very frustrating <laughs> that's how it used to be man that's how it used to be in the nba we're going up against the wizards here in the conference semifinals i mean they're led by john wall but shout out to nick young man he is progressing to a very good player javel mcgee as well here are the playoff stats are we able to beat them and go to the conference finals i don't know if this would warrant a, a fire uh, of my d'antoni but we'll see come on don't go down come on oh my god we lost in six all right, well, another year down the drain. Five years, no rings. Hopefully the back half of this video can be kinder to me than the front half as the Kings win it all and DeMarcus Cousins is your finals MVP. Tim Duncan retires, same with Chauncey Billups, Mike Baby, and Lamar Odom here in 2015. No notable coaches, Duncan in the Hall of Fame, jersey retirement by the Spurs. And this is right on cue. The division winners will no longer automatically get a top three seed in each conference. We are big fans of that. Draft lottery time. Do I have a random pick here? I don't think so, but that would have been pretty sweet. So the Spurs were still really bad with Jokic and they lost out on the number one pick here in 2015. So the Warriors could pair up like Carl Anthony Towns with Steph Curry. We have Utah's pick at 22 from the Landry Field trade. So that kind of worked out for them. And we have our pick at 28. We've had pretty low picks here after the lottery come on mike d'antoni i need you to help me get a ring next year so the warriors number one they select justice winslow all right i don't know if i agree with that at all d'angelo russell chris ops for zingas you could have take ken hugh ends up in dallas that's cool they go from dirk to chris Ops. cat goes to portland yeah good replacement for greg odin so that worked out for them there's a trade here at four cleveland trading it for six and her pool and the celtics trade up to take Devin booker well that's a phenomenal deal by them the knicks select d'angelo russell so yeah, pretty much how the first round ended up. I ended up taking Josh Richardson at 22 and Juan Toscano at 28. We're going to sign both those guys. Steven Adams, welcome back. Kyrie is going to be a restricted free agent, so we're going to pay him a ton of money. Man, Tyrus Thomas did develop pretty well in this save, I will say. I mean, Greg Oden was fine for us. I'm going to look to bring him back on... I mean, we do have a decent amount of money. I mean, I would love to get... Carmelo, I can't really afford him. So I'm going to bring back Greg Oden on a two-year deal worth around $20 million. Let's not renounce the rights on Kyrie. Berea, we could probably let walk. And Kyrie gets a deal from the Jazz. He already stole DeAndre Jordan from me. We're going to match that four years, $90 million. We're going to look to get a little bit of young, uh, younger as well. We could flip Marcin Gortat. We'll see. But we're going to trade Wall Dang just one year after his time in Charlotte. I think I got him like two years too late. And I think it's a little redundant with Gallo and Hansbro. We're going to get Tobias Harris, who could be a good stretch for for us. He's still just 23 years old. And Marcin Gortat who I could look to flip because now we have a decent amount of centers on this team that could warrant some playing time like we have a lot of big men Chris Paul ends up going to Denver to team up well I guess not with Melo who goes to San Antonio to team up with Jokic Chris Paul is now teammates with Giannis player progression this is still a really good team like we have such a good middle of the pack I mean, we probably just need to get that second star with Kyrie. I don't know when that's going to come, though. All right, the year six rotation. I don't think, I don't know. I think I'd rather start Tobias Harris over Thad Young. We're going to play Steven Adams. Not that many minutes a night. I think we can give him like 15 minutes. Thad Young, 20 minutes. I would like to, I'm probably going to send Toscano and Richardson to the G League. I mean, Gortat, we could see like a trade. I kind of want to just play Aaron Gordon a ton of minutes as well. All right, so we're here at the contract extension deadline. We're doing really good this year. I just gave Gallinari a three-year extension. I'm actually going to give JJ Redick a two-year extension as well. Could still open up a trade in the offseason. We are currently, damn, we've actually dropped to the two seed in the Eastern Conference. We were the one seed all year long. The Washington Wizards are really just pissing me off, man. So we end the season with a 59 and 23 record. We do get the one seed. Steph Curry, officially the best player in the NBA, 95 overall. I can't believe this three-year stretch this is like rockets harden on another level cat is your rookie of the year on portland jeff teague six man of the year behind steph Kawhi leonard depoy most improved goes to Giannis in denver yeah he's on that mvp trajectory right now mike d'antoni coach of the year hey there we go quinn car executive of the year so on be first team you have demarcus cousins on the kings Giannis, lebron russ and curry their second team with wall yours truly Kyrie irving anthony davis Kawhi leonard and dwight howard third team with drummond griffin durant uh dwayne wade and dennis schroeder defense the first team and second team no bobcats unfortunately 
Kyrie Irving ended the season with 29 points and 10 assists. I'm hoping one of like Gallo, Tobias Harris, J.R. Smith can be a good enough number two in the playoffs, but we'll see. So I'm basically playing Kyrie Irving 40 minutes in the playoffs. We're taking on the Indiana Pacers with Lynn, George, Granger, Zebo, Kendrick Perkins still, Darren Collison off the bench. You got Washington and Milwaukee over there in the bottom part of it. Let's, I don't know, man. Let, let's see if we could finally get our big one here in the, what, 20... This is the 2016 season, so we're going to be going into, like, the Ben Simmons draft. Jakob Pertl is projected number one overall. We do end up making quick work of the Pacers. We ended up winning in five. Kyrie averaged 30 and 12 in those five games. You'll love to see it. We got to take on Chicago, who had, like, they have Austin Rivers. They have Gerald Wallace, all right, towards the end of his career. He's definitely regressing hard. I think we got out at the right time. Still got D-Rose, man, who's one of the best players in the league. He's going to make the Hall of Fame because he never got hurt here. Can we beat them and go to the conference finals? That was the big question. Yes, we do. We are 8-1 and one in the playoffs. 8-1. and one. We just swept the Bulls. This is Kyrie's year. This has got to be Kyrie's year, man. Steph's gone his years. D-Rose has gone his years. I think John Wall's even gone his years. Let's see it from Kyrie. Kyrie versus John Wall. This is like the next great rivalry of point guards. It was, well... In the Eastern Conference. I mean, you had Chris Paul and Darren Williams. Obviously, steps in a tier of his own. But yeah, you do have Kyrie and John Wall. I didn't show you guys the league leaders. But yeah, oh my god, the Splash Bros. But they're both not in Golden State. Absolutely killing it. Giannis, third in scoring in year three. Some rebounds are insane. There's Bismack Biombo playing with Steph there. Top five in rebounds. We had six guys in double digit of assists per game. And Kyrie was one of them, which is pretty cool. Uh, Darren Williams. Dennis Schroeder is there. Him and, oh my god, Dennis Schroeder, man. What a career development he's had. Can we beat Washington and go to the NBA Finals? We swept them. Wow. All right. Let's go. Let's go. We got to take on Giannis Antetokounmpo, Tristan Thompson, Bobby Portis, Chris Paul, and then Denver Nuggets. That's a great one-two punch. Giannis and CP3. Man, Kyrie's on a tear, though. Just another elite series. We're getting good secondary scoring play out of our, uh, like, kind of bench unit. The Nuggets are... Oh, man. They beat us. But they were 12-2 and two going into the Finals. We were 12-1. and one. They beat us by 12 points here in game one. Do we have an answer for Giannis? I don't know, but we won game two by 15. Can we win game number three? Yes, we can. We're two games away from the finals. Giannis had 43. Kyrie had 36. Game four goes to the Bobcats. We are one game away. We won by six. Kyrie with 23 and 14. Everybody got involved. Here we are. Game five. 2016 finals. Kyrie gets it done in year number six. 28 points. Nine and a half assists. First bout Hall of Famer is like cemented. Now we finally got a championship as the number one guy. Yes, man. We've seen so many finals MVPs here. Russ, D-Rose that are point guards. Um, and now we got one in Kyrie Irving. So you see KG retire, Vince Carter, Al Harrington, Corey Maggette, all these guys. Like I said, I saw Yao Ming retire as well. I don't want to change the Charlotte Bobcats. I kind of want to keep it. It's nostalgic to me right now. KG and Vince Carter head to the Hall of Fame. Yao Ming also got his jersey retired by the Rockets. KG by two teams. Celtics and the Timberwolves. We are going to rebrand the Jazz logo, and it looks like for the Kings logo as well. Draft lottery. The Knicks get number one and number two. And number two via Orlando. They could add Ben Simmons and Jalen Brown if they wanted to. Wow. Um, they also have Brandon Ingram in this class, um, obviously. So do we own our first round pick? We do not. It's going to be going to the Trailblazers at 30. I believe from the Greg Oden deal. All right. So the 2016 draft, we do not own a first round pick, but I think I would like to try to make a move to get one of these guys. We do need some depth, I think, going forward. I don't need three centers on roster. All right. I want to see if I can move Marcin Gortat, Juan Toscano, a first round pick last year, and two second rounders for pick 10 with the Suns. Bang. There we go. So the Marcin Gortat is actually a pretty good center, and I think it's worth a 10th over overall pick but we didn't play him at all last year because we had greg odin and we have um like aaron gordon as a big and steven adams as well ben simmons number one to the knicks and they have number two and they get demonta sabonis it's pretty good that's pretty good at least getting some foundation there the knicks have been horrible in this 10-year rebuild uh brandon ingram is a clipper Jakob pertel goes four to boston and dejounte murray five to brooklyn six chris dunn jalen brown was still on the board he goes to the pistons there at seven spurs at eight, they take Malcolm Brogdon. And we actually traded for pick nine, excuse me, not pick 10. Just kind of looking through this. I see Jamal Murray is still on the board. I don't know if I want another point guard, but he is best player available. Yeah, you know what? I'm going to go Jamal Murray. He's 19 years old. We can develop him. We could have won Pascal Siakam, but we do have Tobias Harris and Aaron Gordon. So I'm going to get Jamal Murray. Let's go. Yeah, Ben Simmons is an 82 overall off the rip. He's going to be pretty good. Jamal Murray should be good as well. And you know what? If he could be a shooting guard, that could be a fun backcourt with Kyrie Irving and Jamal Murray um, towards the end of this video. Steven Adams and Aaron Gordon picking up those team options. Steph Curry's about to be an unrestricted free agent. 
yeah, he's going to set the market. He's about to get the most. Um, AD is a restricted free agent. Dwight's an unrestricted. Man, I would have loved Dwight here. We just don't have the money. All right, so I'm actually going to make this trade with the Detroit Pistons. I'm giving them Thad Young an expiring deal. I think we can roll with Tobias Harris and Aaron Gordon as the power forward duo. We're also throwing a second rounder in this trade. We're getting Bojan Bogdanovic. Maybe I flip him at the deadline. I don't know if he's going to even crack the rotation for us. And we're getting an unprotected first rounder in 2017. So this upcoming draft, which is pretty sweet. We do have a solid mid-level exception, um, but I don't really think I'm going to go after anybody there. Like Paul Millsap's fun. Draymond Green would be fun to try to turn his career around here. We've gone the crazy T route, but you know what? I kind of like our core. We have Kyrie, we have Smith, Redick, Murray, and Richardson. And I think there's a chance I could move JR at the deadline. We have Gallo and Bojan. We have Harrison Gordon, Odin and Adams, and we just won it all. I'm down to run it back. So play progression, Kyrie Irving's a 94 overall. Gallo's an 84, Odin's an 84. It's still a pretty solid team. I don't think we've gotten like that elite number two yet next to Kyrie. We haven't, but Gallo's been pretty good for us since we signed him over from the New York Knicks. All right, so let's construct this rotation. Kyrie, Smith, Gallo, Harris, Odin. Honestly, like JJ Reddick's been here since year number one, which is pretty sweet. I think Steven Adams doesn't need to play a ton. I mean, I don't think Greg Odin needs to play a ton throughout the regular season either. JJ Reddick, you can get like 24 minutes a night. Let's see what Aaron Gordon can do. I'm excited to see um, maybe him with more minutes this year. I would like to play Jamal Murray. I'd like to play Josh Richardson as well, but he's probably not going to get a ton of minutes this year, but we could make a move at the deadline. I could move on from J.R. Smith. We have a back-to-back -to, -back to start off the year, but we blow out the Toronto Raptors. Let's go, Kyrie. And Giannis wins his first MVP in the 2017 season, so he's definitely qu like quicker progression than what he did in real life. Ben Simmons is your rookie of the year. It does not sit out throughout his real rookie year. Roy Hibbert, six man of the year in New Orleans. Kawhi Leonard, Depoy, Herb Poole, just an auto-generated guy slipping in here. Most improved, okay? Mike D'Antoni, Coach of the Year, 72 and 10. But that doesn't get Kyrie Irving on an All-NBA first team or a second team. That goes to Dwayne Wade, who is still in Miami with LeBron and Rodney Stuckey. And there's All-NBA third team. Steph Curry signed with the Hawks. Wow. And his numbers dropped off by 11 points per game. Kyrie does get on it, though. And we did get Jamal Murray on All-Rookie first team. I'll take that. He looks pretty good out of the gate. So we're taking on the eight-seeded Cavs in round number one. I think similar numbers to last year. I did give J.R. Smith a two-year extension. Just gives me a little bit more flexibility if I wanted to move him in the offseason. You also got the Wizards and the Bucks over there in the bottom right of the Eastern Conference. Taking a look here at the league leaders from the 20, what, 17 season now. Clay led the NBA in scoring. Gary Harris, wow, actually emerges from Michigan State and becomes a top five scorer in this league. Rebounds, you got Valanchunas, AD, Drew. Roman Towns and Dwight assist per game four guys in the double digits no Kyrie Irving he just misses out averaging 9.9 .9. also shout out to Aaron Gordon this year 14.7 rebounds 35 from three yeah that's what I like to see from him Tobias Harris's efficiency was really good as well and we're taking on the Cleveland Cavaliers who have Goran Dragic and Klay Thompson in that backcourt they drafted Stanley Johnson in 2015 they have JJ Hickson Mason Plumley, Corey Brewer Cody Zeller Jordan Clarkson Frank the Tank so a couple of, like eventual Hornets with Cody Zeller and Frank the Tank on that team um, but we should end up sweeping them and we do um i maybe i wasn't gonna say like we should have swept them but if we won in five or even six i would have been okay with that and in round number one Kyrie irving averaged 24 and a half points tobias harris daniel gallinari jerry smith aaron gordon all stepping up all right round number two against the indiana pacers you still have paul george who's the number one guy there he's still been there we'll see if he ends up getting traded in that what 2017 offseason like he did in real life are we able to beat them or are we gonna lose we end up winning at six in a rematch of last year going up against the washington wizards in the conference finals Kyrie led the team in scoring followed by gallo harris and gordon and then over in the western conference side you were gonna have the okc thunder and the sacramento kings the thunder still have russ harden and kd and Ibaka. that team is so good the kings have omri caspi omri caspi yeah remember him he's been pretty good an elite shooter for them they have kemba walker tyreek evans demarcus cousins this trey warwick guy and gerald henderson former bobcat who's going to the finals we oh my god we just blew a three to one lead no oh my goodness we blow them out by so many points oh my god what is that 74 oh my god we won by 74 points and we lost the series. Then we lost by one. We beat them by 20. Beat them by 15. And then we proceeded to lose three in a row. Oh my god. What a choke job. What a choke job from this Bobcats team in the 2017 season. 
Ah, oh, that is that is very unfortunate. Gallo is not very good in that series. Wizards, Thunder, Thunder winning six. Russ is your finals MVP. So the Wizards haven't won at all, but we're now kind of tied in conference finals matchups with John Wall against Kyrie Irving. Paul Pierce, Manu Ginobili, Nene, Karan Bowler, Jared Jeffries. There's Diop, former Bobcat. All retiring, I saw Jameer Nelson, Zaza Pachulia as well. Uh, we should see at least Paul Pierce and Manu Ginobili hit to the Hall of Fame, but no Manu. Disrespectful, 2K, disrespectful. So we're going to introduce a new timeout system in 2017. I don't even remember that, to be honest with you. So a ton of new branding, just making sure there's no Bobcats, and there we go. So yeah, there's going to be a ton of new branding. Um, I don't remember if there was that much that happened going into the 20, I guess, 18 season. And once again, I feel like me trading for lottery picks just does not end up going well whatsoever. Um, we do own our first round pick. Oh no, did I change us to the Hornets? I don't know. It says we're the Hornets at 29. Damn it. Did we just become the Charlotte Hornets? I thought we were able to kind of go past that. And we have Detroit's pick at 18. So that didn't end up being a lottery pick. Please just tell me that says Hornets, but we're still the Bobcats. Uh, we're the Charlotte Hornets now. All right, hopefully that's not some bad juju coming our way. And we are going to give Mike D'Antoni a four-year extension throughout the rest of this video. All right, I want to see if I can move JJ Redick, who's just like still one of the best three-point shooters in the league, 18 and 29 for pick six. They agree to that. The Sixers, like, were all over JJ Redick throughout the whole regular season. We we're trying to trade for JJ Redick, and we were able to get that deal done. So at number six, man, we could end up with a Darren Fox. I don't know. I don't really want another point guard just because I drafted Jamal Murray last year. Like, Bam Adebayo could be nice, but I do like Steven Adams. I mean, I would love for Marketing or Tatum to fall to me, but I doubt that's going to happen. And Donovan Mitchell is going to go to Golden State, so they no longer have Steph Curry. A year later, they get the number one overall pick. They select Donovan Mitchell. Lonzo Ball goes to, like he did in real life, he goes to the Orlando Magic. They don't end up with Jonathan Isaac. Like it happened in real life, Jason Tatum ends up on the Boston Celtics, Kyle Kuzma on the Brooklyn Nets, and Lowry Markkinen goes to the Dallas Mavericks. So there's some good guard talent here, obviously, with De'Aaron Fox. I mean, just getting a good Markov Fultz would be so much fun. 6'4", man. I'm not taking Frank Nielakina. I like the idea of Bam, but, like, I don't really know if I want another center. But Greg Oden is a free agent, so you know what? If I'm not able to bring him back, let's bring in Bam Adebayo, another Kentucky guy here, to the Charlotte Hornets after we got Jamal Murray last year. All right, so we've had like a good influx of young talent, but yeah, like Ronald Williams, I just love uh, these draft classes I have to download. So they get rid of the randoms, but then we still see randoms go in the lottery because even 2Ks like 2017 draft classes aren't great. We're going to pick up the team option on Aaron Gordon, obviously, and Josh Richardson. Uh, Blake Griffin is a free agent. I mean, that's like, that's a number two. I would love to pair up in Charlotte with Kyrie Irving. We actually can give him a max deal. Yeah, like the salary cap is skyrocketing. Tell me like Kyrie's a free agent. No, but Adams is. He's restricted. Odin only wants $10 million a year. But that's probably worth it. I mean, like if I offered Blake Griffin player option, I can't offer him a no trade clause. Would he come here? I mean, that would change up everything if we're able to pick him up. But I don't think so. We're like pretty down in the pack there. Um, so we're just going to simulate a day. Yeah, it, we didn't get him, unfortunately. He ends up signing with the San Antonio Spurs. Huh, DeAndre Jordan is there and he's unhappy with his maybe time ending in Utah. Go figure. So I'm going to offer Greg Oden. I think just a one-year deal. Like, I want to have optimal cap space next year. So let's give him that. And is Steven Adams actually going to get 19 million? If so, yeah, I'm not going to match that. Like, there's no point. Bam is just going to slide in as the backup five. He would be pretty good. Wow, is he not going to accept that? He, that would be silly. Yeah, he got four years, 83 million from the Cavs. I'm going to let him walk. Because now we just have Bam as the backup five who we could develop. We still have Tobias Harris, Aaron Gordon, Gallo, older J.R. Smith, but Jamal Murray can maybe take a step this year. Was Blake Griffin always on the Spurs? No, he actually left the Clippers to go to the Spurs. That's kind of crazy. CJ McCollum stays in Utah. Giannis obviously stays in Denver. Hopefully next year's free agency class is pretty good. All right, so this is going to be the rotation. We are going to go uh, Kyrie Irving, Jamal Murray backcourt. I want to see it. I want to see it. Gallo at the three, Aaron Gordon four, Greg Oden at the five. We have Tobias Harris, J.R. Smith, Bam Adebayo, and Josh Richardson off the bench. I feel like we have a good mixture of offensive players, defensive players, four stars, seven seconds or less. Um, obviously, we have now no J.J. Redick on this team. We ended up kind of letting some guys walk like Steven Adams. I wasn't going to pay that contract. I'm intrigued to see who steps up as the number two guy this year. Will it be Gallo? Will it maybe be Aaron Gordon or Jamal Murray? We will see, but we are not off to a good offensive start here in the 2018 season, unfortunately. We do end up dropping 121, though. There we go, Jamal. 
I need year two Jamal this year. So Giannis is your MVP, 28 points, 10 rebounds, six and a half assists. Lonzo Ball with maybe Lonzo Ball earlier in his career efficiency is your rookie of the year. Reggie Jackson, six man. Depoy goes to Kawhi Leonard. D Most improved goes to Steven Adams, of course, first year. Not in Charlotte. Mike D'Antoni, coach of the year for the new Charlotte Hornets. And hey, maybe this is good, Juju, as Kyrie Irving, all NBA first team. I think maybe for the first time in his career. Yeah, first time in his career. He's been on second team once, third team twice. And he has an incredible season. I would like for him to get an MVP. I don't know if that's going to happen. AD is so good in Houston, man. Here's All-NBA second team and third team. I would love to also get another All-NBA guy in this video along with Kyrie. I don't know if that's going to happen. So we ended the season as the one seed again in the Eastern Conference. Kyrie led the team in scoring, followed by Gallo, Tobias Harris, Aaron Gordon, and Jamal Murray. Both pretty good. Aaron Gordon is going to be a restricted free agent this offseason. So we'll have to keep an eye on that. Bam. Not a bad rookie year by any means. You got the Knicks making it to the playoffs with Ben Simmons and DeMontis Sabonis, Atlanta and Milwaukee in there as well. Milwaukee still has Jimmy Butler. Pretty good player. I feel like Jamal Murray will be really good really soon. I don't know if he's suited to be like that shooting guard. I know I run into that defensive issue with Kyrie at the one. We're taking on Brooklyn, who have Jordan Farmer. Wow, he made a long career. Uh, Victor Oladipo, KCP, Derek Favors, Brooke Lopez, Draymond Green, Chris Humphreys is still there, TJ Warren, Kyle Kuzma, Trey Wiles, <laughs> Johan Petro, Robin Lopez, DeJounte Murray. There's a lot of interesting talent on that Nets team. Just looking at the league leaders throughout the league, Clay back-to-back -back years being the number one scorer in the league see you zach levine there at number nine on the knicks as well hmm, the knicks kind of have some talent now good for them um and the nets are in the playoffs like both of them have been pretty bad in this video the knicks have d'lo levine simmons julian wright jalen uh jared soldier wilson chandler jackson amari still there are we able to beat the brooklyn nets and advance though to round number two we take a 2-0-3-0 lead and then we end up sweeping them it's not gonna happen in the conference finals this year it's in the conference semifinals. We're going up against the Washington Wizards. We had three 20 point per game scores in round one with Kyrie, Gallo, and Jamal Murray. Can we beat Washington? Can we really just beat John Wall here to advance to the conference finals? You have the Knicks and the Hawks over there on the other side, and we swept them. All right, here we go. 8 0 in the playoffs, going up against the two seeded Hawks. Kyrie kind of carried in that round two series, but hey, we swept them. Uh, we're going up against the Hawks. You have the Rockets and the Spurs over there on the Western Conference side. Uh, Spurs have Blake Griffin, Rockets have AD. The Hawks are led by Steph Curry, still have Joe Johnson. Josh Smith, Al Horford, Kelly Olynyk, and they have Darren Williams off the bench, a young Davis Bertans as well. Can we beat them? We won game one. Can we advance to the 2018 finals? We are 12-0. All right, maybe this was good choo-choo with the Hornets team. We are undefeated. Shout out to Aaron Gordon. I think we got to pay the man in the offseason. Can we beat the eight-seeded Spurs? This would be the craziest upset of all time. Blake, Melo, and Jokic. He's not like Jokic, Jokic, but he's good. Are they going to beat us? Wait, and they have Andrew Wiggins off the bench. I forgot they did like that Manu trade and they got Randall as well in that 2014 draft. They had Jokic, Randall, and Wiggins from that class. That's kind of insane. Wait, they picked four, they picked three, and they had picked two. Two, three, and four. Yeah, I forgot because they moved Duncan and Manu and Parker that draft. Can we beat them? Oh my God, they took us to seven. <laughs> We go 12-0 in the Eastern Conference side. We go to the finals, and we won in seven. Kyrie Irving is your finals MVP. We beat him by 20, and that is our second ring in this video in year number eight. So we got two more years left. I would like to win two more rings. Dirk Nowitzki ends up retiring. Same with Gerald Wallace as well. I don't think... We're going to retire Gerald Wallace's number. That would actually be kind of funny if that happened. Dirk obviously goes to the Hall of Fame. Obviously gets his jersey retired by the Mavericks. Joe Johnson by the Atlanta Hawks. Oh my God. We ended up getting the third overall pick from Portland. Oh, let's go. Let's freaking go, man. I forget if that was from the Reddick trade. Exactly. What? I don't remember how I got Portland's pick. I might have to go back to that. But I was like looking. I was like, wait, where are the Bobcats? I feel like we had another pick. We got Portland's pick there at number three let's go in the 2018 draft a loaded class as well so i could keep it i could draft a shea i could draft a luca i could draft a deandre yeah i don't know about that actually it's funny because i'm not gonna remember where that portland pick came from until i like edit this video but hey i am not complaining whatsoever so i don't know if i'm gonna keep the third overall pick because i would like to get a really good guy and i don't know if like luca i don't think i'm getting luca at three but i don't know if that player's gonna develop well i'm guaranteed shea or luca which is pretty sweet i would prefer luca i don't really want to draft triple j but i feel like i gotta draft shea all right, Luka goes number two to the Miami Heat. So we're on the clock here. That's why I think I'm going to draft Shea. I think I'm going to draft Shea, but then I'm going to trade. I might trade him because I don't know if we need him. I mean, we could draft Jared Jackson Jr. if we didn't want to keep Tobias Harris long term. But I'm going to go... I don't know, man. We have Jamal Murray. 
We have Kyrie Irving. I may draft Shea Gilgis Alexander and then trade him like what happened in real life because the Hornets could have drafted him, but they opted for Miles Bridges. And then obviously Shea was in that Paul George trade. So yeah, we all know how good this 2018 draft was. I want to see where Jalen Brunson went. He went 16 to the Spurs. Okay. So we ended up selecting uh, Kevin Herter at 30 out of Maryland. Um, we're going to sign both of them, pick up the team options on Murray and Richardson. Chris Paul is a free agent. Clay Thompson's a free agent. Now that's someone that could be fun to go after. Um, Aaron Gordon, we're going to let walk. And Bede is restricted. That kind of got me excited. I mean, I'm going to offer Clay a deal. We will have to free up a little bit of money, but I don't know. Like, I don't... Yeah, this Mike Bridges guy I don't want. Like, Chris Middleton, I don't really want. I mean, Aaron Gordon, I think 15 million a year is fine on him. I'm sure Embiid's going back to... Um, to New Orleans for sure. I don't need Chris Paul. All right, I'm going to do this trade with the Brooklyn Nets. We're going to get a get. We're going to get second year man Kyle Kuzma coming into this year. Um, played for the Nets in the playoff series against us. We're giving them Jared Smith. We're going to save a little bit of money in this trade. No, oh my God, I thought I just simulated a player progression. So now we still have a player on our team that we could even trade if we want. But now I could also offer Clay Thompson a deal. I'm not going to give him the player option because Blake didn't really like that last year. Please be number one. Oh my God, we're number one. Give me Clay Thompson. I'll figure out a way to still keep Aaron Gordon. Give me Clay Thompson. Oh my God, we got him. All right, let's go. So I got to clear up around $8 million to keep Aaron Gordon as well. Man, Tobias Harris was so efficient for us last year. So I don't know. Like if I want to move Tobias, he's 26 or Gallo. I feel like I should move Gallo. So first off, we're going to trade Gallo to Orlando for a top three protected first rounder next year and Kelly Oubre. And then I'm going to flip Kelly Oubre to San Antonio for two first round picks. So I basically got, got three first round picks for Gallinari. I should still be able to keep Aaron Gordon. We are going to have to let uh, Greg Oden walk but I just got Klay Thompson. Now we also, we have to make sure that Aaron Gordon doesn't accept the deal. We're kind of screwed if he takes a deal. So I have to like overpay for him every single day until after moratorium. So we'll be okay. So day three, we're going to sign Klay Thompson. So this kind of hurts Jamal Murray a little bit. And then Aaron Gordon, I'm going to match whatever deal he gets. Three years, 47 million from the Clippers. Yeah, that's an easy match. So I'm like, do I need Shea Gilgis on this team? I mean, for his rookie year, it's fine. And like Jamal Murray's going to come off the bench. Um, we have Aaron Gordon, like at the four. Tobias Harris at the three. Klay Thompson at the two. Yeah, both these guys from the 2011 draft class. And Kyrie, like three guys from the 2011 class. I'm excited to watch like prime Klay, who's coming off elite scoring years with Cleveland. Play with Kyrie Irving here in Charlotte. The front court, yeah, we do kind of need another center. I don't, man... Maybe I should trade Tobias Harris for a center. But I feel like Bam could be fine. I don't know. Can I sign anyone? Oh, I could still bring back Greg Oden. Could I sign him on a two-year deal? I mean, I will do that. Please. There we go. All right. So we do see the Greg Oden regression a little bit. So I think we're going to see Bam at a bio at the five. I don't think I'm going to play like Aaron Gordon at the five, even though that would be kind of interesting. All right. So I have also debated maybe playing Clay at the three and starting Murray at the two. But I think Murray's going to come off the bench. We're going to go Gordon at the four. Um, Harris at the three. I think Harris can get like 28 minutes a night. I think Gordon can get a little bit more. We're going to go. I think I'm going to start Bam at the five. I know it might be a little soon, but uh, Greg Oden is definitely starting to regress. Obviously, I got to play Shea a ton of minutes. So I think Jay Rich can get like 12 minutes a night. Kyle Kuzma is going to get like 16. We could probably go a decent amount to Shea Gojus Alexander. I think Jamal Murray can get like 25 let's do 26 to bam out of bio and then 22 to shea system proficiency is four stars under mike d'antoni first two games of the year two nice wins against um i guess uh atlantic division teams clay thompson yeah off to a fantastic start in his hornets career all right so i know we didn't really show the all-star games too much um we have an all-star draft between Giannis on the denver nuggets and then lebron who i believe is still in miami um, yeah, Chris Paul is in Orlando now, which is funny enough. Yeah, LeBron is still in Miami, so he never goes back to Cleveland. Giannis is, oh my god, gonna probably win MVP this year in Denver. Here's your All-NBA or your All-Star teams. We do get Kyrie Irving as a reserve on Team LeBron. 50-40-90 splits, we love to see that. Ben Simmons is a starter. No Clay Thompson, or am I blind? Nope, yep, no Clay Thompson, which is kind of crazy. Um, just the names I'm covering are Chris Bosh, James Harden, Kemba Walker, and Joel Embiid, which is kind of crazy. I mean, we're here at the trade deadline in year number nine. I mean, they're both averaging 20 points per game. I guess that makes sense then that neither, like, only one of them was going to be an all-star. It's fine. We are going to sign Kyrie Irving to a four-year extension. Tobias Harris, I'm going to ink up for three more years as well. Anybody else I want to resign? Nobody else I can right now. All right, so Giannis does end up winning MVP for the Denver Nuggets, like the newly rebranded Denver Nuggets. DeAndre Aiden, your rookie of the year. Middleton, six man of the year in Golden State. Kawhi, another deep point in Toronto. Yusuf Nurkic, most improved in Houston. I mean, he's behind Anthony Davis. We get coach of the year again, 57 and 25. All-NBA first team has 
Dennis Schroeder, he's one of the best point guards in the league. It's cool, like, that becomes a thing, man, and that these rebuilds can be a little bit different over time. Like, Derrick Rose stays healthy. I mean, DeMarcus Cousins got some playoff experience with the Sacramento Kings, which is nice. We do get Klay Thompson on all defensive second team. That's also great to see. Shea was on all rookie second team. We do end the season as the one seed going up against the Chicago Bulls as the eight seed here in the Eastern Conference. I'm excited to see who's going to turn it up in the playoffs. Bam was a fine starting center for us. You got Boston, Miami, Atlanta, and Orlando, and then Detroit and New York as the other Eastern Conference playoff matchups in round one. And obviously, Clay's numbers went down a little bit, teaming up with Kyrie Irving here, but that's fine as long as we can get a ring. Top five was Giannis in Denver, Beal in LA, uh, Kobe still going strong at age 40, man. Third in scoring, then you had Curry, and then D-Rose. There's rebounds per game. So many guys in double figures, and then only two double figures and assists per game. Can we beat the Bulls? They were able to beat us in the beginning of this video. Were we able to beat them at the end? <laughs> they pushed us to seven. I don't like that. I don't like an eight seed pushing us to seven games. We're taking on this improvement every year Knicks team. They obviously got Ben Simmons number one overall. Are we able to beat them in advance of the conference finals? Yep, we gentlemen sweep them. Taking on Steph Curry and the Atlanta Hawks. So yeah, like Clay and Curry, never teammates in this video, which is pretty cool. And we get the better of the Atlanta Hawks. We're going up against the five seeded Tim Wolves in the finals. George Hill, Corey Brewer, Harrison Barnes, Kevin Love, Nikola Vucevic. Yeah, that Vucevic love front court, man. Pretty good over time. Are we able to beat them? Oh my God, they were up three to two and we end up winning at seven. Kyrie Irving averages a double-double and gets another finals MVP award. That is our third ring in this video, three in the last four. And then just kind of throughout the playoffs as well. Yeah, uh, this was a pretty good team. Clay was obviously a phenomenal signing. Here we are going into year number 10. There goes Kobe. He retires as a 40 year old. Obviously he's going to be going to the hall of fame and obviously is going to get his jersey retired by the LA Lakers. David West. Got his jersey retired by the Pelicans, which is pretty cool. Um, they're going to implement a bunch of things now. Um, I guess the ELM ending, the coaches challenge, the new lottery system here in 2019. And this is the final draft lottery. Um, the Jazz get number one. They could take Zion or Ja. Nets at two. Blazers at three. We do own our pick at 30 and Orlando's pick at 20. So here's how the top five or pretty much top 10 looked like in the 2019 draft. Still went Zion, Ja, and RJ Barrett. Just going to different teams. Bull Bull went seventh overall. Uh, we ended up getting Tower Hero at 20. Nas Reed at 30. I'm not going to sign Gilbert Burden, but those were our two first round picks. Got to pick up the team options on Murray, Kuzma, and Bam Adebayo. Josh Richardson, and we do have the Nasses on the team. I will extend the qualifying offer to him. Do we have any free agents? Josh Richardson is restricted. Mello's unrestricted. Curry's unrestricted. Those are the top guys. All right, we're going to try to have some fun for year number 10. Shea is obviously going to be a phenomenal player, but we can move him. Greg Oden, Kevin Herter in a first round pick for Greg Monroe, who could still get moved, but I'm also getting Jalen Brown, who's definitely further along his development than Shea. And then I'm going to make this massive trade as well. Tobias Harris is gone. Now that we got Jalen Brown, he's really good, at least really efficient. Greg Monroe, who we just got, we're getting Aaron Aflalo, but we're getting Rudy Go bear to be our starting center for the final season we're gonna bring back josh richardson three years 20 million dollars um curry ends up staying in atlanta Melo stays in san antonio Kyrie's a 94 clay's a 91 go an 88 this team is actually so good right now all right so it's gonna be Kyrie irving jamal murray i think uh we're gonna go jalen brown at the two jamal murray is the sixth man we have a good bench i don't think aaron aflalo is gonna make it probably not tower hero either i think i would like to go probably 15 minutes two bam i probably should play no i kind of like richardson i'm gonna play richardson 17 minutes a night 15 to bam 15 to kuzma from the 2017 class we're gonna go 25 26 to murray is the six man 31 gobert 30 gordon we'll do 35 clay we'll do 36 clay and we'll do one more minute to Aaron Gordon. I do think that this could be a 70 win team. I believe this is our best team yet. Four stars, seven seconds or less. We don't start the year off on a back to back, which is nice. We beat the Sixers by 11. Let's end this video off with our fourth ring. So in the final all-star draft, we have LeBron James and Anthony Davis as the captains. Curry, Kawhi, Russ, Simmons are starters, as well as KD, Wall, Giannis, and Harden. We did get Kyrie as a reserve on team LeBron once again. We didn't get Klay Thompson or like Jalen Brown or anybody else like an all-star. Um, DeAndre Jordan, Zach Randolph, and Jonas Valanciunas. I keep forgetting. Yeah, we did have DeAndre Jordan like 10 years ago. And in the final year, Giannis is your MVP. Zion Williamson of the Utah Jazz, your rookie of the year. Luka Doncic, six man of the year in year number two with the Miami Heat. Already shooting like 40 plus percent from three in his first two years. Giannis Depoy, Marvin Bagley, most improved in Philadelphia. Okay, we get coach of the year once again. Final all NBA teams, Wall, Curry, Giannis, AD, and Cat. Cat, man, also been a beast for Portland 
Portland in his like five-ish years in the NBA. Derrick Rose still making all NBA teams, just 31. Still so young here in the 2020 season. Kyrie Irving on all NBA third team. And we were taking on the Washington Wizards in round number one. Um, hopefully we're able to beat them. Hopefully I'm able to win it all with this really good team in the final season. You got Cleveland and New York, Orlando, Indiana, Boston, and Brooklyn. And then just looking kind of at the league leaders throughout the league, Giannis, man, is now kind of becoming the best player in the league. Kind of averaging 16 rebounds a night. Same with them beat almost. And then Wall, Irving, and Schroeder are your top three in assists. So can we beat the Washington Wizards and advance to round number two? We are up three games to one. We end up winning at five. We're going to be taking on the Boston Celtics. Our top guy was Clay Thompson in that series. It's a really good big three offensively with Clay, Jalen Brown, and Kyrie Irving. Are we able to beat Boston? Led by Devin Booker, Jason Tatum. And they do have DeAndre Jordan. That team is going to be so good in like five years. Are we able to beat them in advance of the conference finals? Yes, we do. We end up winning at five. I forgot about that Houston logo. I really did, man. Oh my God. I don't know. I kind of like it better than their logo. I don't know though. They're going up against Phoenix. We're going up against New York. That team just keeps getting better and better. Are we able to beat Ben Simmons? Nope. We ended up losing in five. Oh, that is brutal. That is brutal. And it's a Knicks Suns finals. And the Suns win in six with Isaiah Thomas drifted back in 2011. Finals MVP. Wow, that team kind of overachieved. I mean, Gary Harris ended up being very good at some points um, in Golden State. They have a young Michael Porter. Tyrus Thomas, still in the league. Former Bobcat. All right, that's kind of crazy. Miles Turner getting a ring. MCW. Marcin Gortat as well, so it worked out for them. And that's going to be for me. I hope you guys did enjoy this 10-year rebuild. Oh, Rudy Gobert, not happy in Charlotte. But yeah, I hope you guys did enjoy. Drop a thumbs up if you guys do enjoy this style of content with historic stuff. Yeah, and like I said, 3,500 likes. I'll do a 20-year version, and we could start all the way back in like 2002. Or if you guys would rather see me still start at this time frame, but go another 10 years until like 2030. Like always, I love you guys. Hit that subscribe button if you're not already, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.